notes. I have my journal because I kind of want to recap on my life. So I journal my feelings, I journal what I'm going through, and uh, I'm just going to be real with you guys on what's been going on the past few weeks. It feels like I haven't done one of these of like what's going on in my life and just being real with you guys. But because we were doing the woman series and then I did my whole 30 vlog, which in my whole 30 vlog I was pretty transparent, but I don't know. I feel like there's been a lot of things that have changed and just where I'm at in life has been a little bit different. So I just want to share with you guys. And I do want to touch on mental health. So last week was mental health day. I don't remember what day. But I saw a lot of posts on that and I thought they were really sweet and really cool to see that people are advocating for mental health and people are aware of mental health. Because I know for me, growing up, I was never really aware that mental health was a thing. And especially this semester of nursing school, we're really um, well, I'm taking a class on mental health, first of all. Second, we're actually going into the hospital, and so I have patients who have mental illnesses, and it was such a life-changing experience for me. It just solidifies, like, this is why I'm doing nursing. Like, there's so much need, and it's not just physical need, but mental need, mental health need, and spiritual. I had a great, great, um, spiritual conversations and even like my own faith was challenged while I was doing my rotation there. So I have a lot of things to say for it. So I will mention that and I will talk about it for a little bit. But for now, we're going to talk about life updates. And Molly's over here looking at me. She wants to play with me. Oh, let's show Molly. I think I show her my intro, but look at her. So here's our first update. We're moving. Molly got spayed because we're actually moving to my parents' house. And my parents and my little sister have two dogs, a female and a male. And we do not want Molly to get pregnant. So we decided to spay her um, because now she's going to be living with two other dogs. This is like huge and it literally just happened like last week that we decided on this. We are just kind of in a season right now where we're both doing school and we're living alone in our three bedroom house. So it just kind of feels like too big for us. Like we, we need, I don't know. It, we don't like it. <laughs> yeah, we don't like it. We started off our marriage in a little studio where literally our bedroom was our living room and our living room was our kitchen. So I think that really like set the foundation of us wanting to be literally in the same room at all times, which is fine because I love hanging out with David at all times. But yeah, this we're, we want to move. We're, we're happy here, but we kind of want to change it up. So we're going with my parents. And my parents have a lot of extra space. We're gonna have our own little space downstairs. Um, so I think it's gonna be great. I, it's always been a dream of me, of mine, to live with my parents again, because I love my parents. And I mean, I feel like my parents need that kind of support and love. I think in my testimony, I talk about my parents' situation. So go watch my testimony video, but I, so I won't go into it, but I think it's a great opportunity for me and David to grow, save some money, not be alone in our own place, and just kind of have family around. And yeah, I'm excited. I'm living in the, on the same street as my best friend again. So that's another plus. I guess I'm just gonna talk about like what my spiritual life has looked like. Um, I have been so busy this semester, and I say that every video that I'm like so busy and I have all these things, but legit this semester has been insane. I have two exams every week, every Monday and every Thursday I have an exam, and it never fails, and sometimes I have three, sometimes I have two on Monday, one on Thursday, or one on Monday, two on Thursday, and it's no joke of how much information I have to know and learn and make sure I understand. So it's a lot. I'm loving every second of it though because it's really interesting information that I'm learning and I'm really enjoying my time at the hospital and seeing patients. But with that being said, it has taken kind of a toll on my workload um, because I, I used to wake up earlier than my class and read my Bible, spend time with the Lord. And ever since this semester started, that kind of 
faded away. And although I'll, I'll find like 15 minutes to read my Bible, it's great, but I'm so used to having like my 30 minutes to an hour time with the Lord that it just like doesn't feel the same. It feels very rushed and I have like a million things running through my head that I'm not really present during my Bible time. So it's been really hard. So I'm really working through it. I'm really trying. We haven't worked out. We haven't played tennis. All my self-care things have been thrown out the window and I've noticed my anxiety has gone up because of that. Like instead of me having anxiety maybe like two or three times a month, I'm having it like weekly now and it's really bad. I know it's because I'm not really taking care of myself and I'm really consumed by my schoolwork, but I'm really, 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 really like trying to work on it. You guys, it's not always butterflies and rainbows when you're pursuing the Lord. And this is one of those times where I'm like, I know I need Jesus, but I also have an exam tomorrow and then I have clinicals the next day and then I have another exam the next day. So it's definitely been a, I wouldn't say downhill time, but it's been an off season for us. Uh, I also feel like for He Who Is Mighty, I really, really put it on the back burner and I hate that I'm doing that um, because I, I really do enjoy planning out these videos and like allowing God to take control of these videos in a sense, but I haven't done that you guys and I feel really bad and part of me is like, should I stop making For He Who Is Mighty videos? Should I not? I'm not. But I, that's where my heart's at right now, where I'm like, I'm not giving 100%, which I should be. But again, I have a lot on my plate right now. Oh, the car just pulled up. But it's a flat car. We're having people come tour our home today so that we can rent it out and go with my parents ASAP. Also, the sun is right in my face, but it's fine. Um, so I don't know if that's them. between a spiritual warfare and a mental illness. And let me give you a little backstory of why that question was even brought up. We have a lot of patients who come in that say that they hear angels or that they have guardian angels that tell them things or that they have demons who tell them to do certain things like kill themselves or that they see demons and that, that they just see them that they're roaming around or it's a lot of angels and demons type of thing. Um, sometimes it won't be that, it'll just be like, oh, I'm hearing voices and they don't know what kind of voices they're hearing, but they just hear voices. Um, they're very impulsive. They can get angry very easily. Um, others are very, very, very depressed. Others like believe things that are not true. For example, maybe they believe they have breast cancer, even though they, don't have breast cancer, they might believe they have tuberculosis, even though they don't. Um, they can believe that their parents are after them. Um, they can believe that aliens are the ones taking over the world. Like, there's so many things I've seen from different patients, I've heard from different patients, and so it's definitely in their mind. There is a thing called neurotransmitters in your brain that connect throughout your brain they get released and then they get reabsorbed through another neuron so you have like two connecting things basically you have an electrical system going on in your brain and somewhere along the way that electrical system got messed up and so now those signals aren't going through as they should be and so your brain starts telling you things or you start hearing things or you start hallucinating that's what happens in really severe cases that 
I saw in the psychiatric unit. That also works alongside with like anxiety and depression and even other things that we see day to day on social media and it's a very heavy thing for sure. I remember my first day going into the unit, I was in prayer all day. One, because I felt the heaviness and the weight and the hurt from each patient. It's different when you see a patient in the hospital because they have renal failure. And that's, we know they have renal failure because of all the different labs that they did, but they seem normal because they're talking, they're eating, they're joking with you, like they're fine, but you just know that their internal is not great, but we're working on it through medication. It's another story when you go to the psychiatric unit and you physically see their their illness. They do look normal, but you see that they're out of it. One, it's either because of the medication they're on, so they're just like walking around. And I'm, I hate them comparing them like this, but it's kind of like a zombie expression where they're just, they're out of it. They're really out of it. You try to have a conversation with them, they're very slow at processing. Um, other people who had just been admitted, they're very sporadic. They're telling you this and that. And I don't, it's just like very sporadic, not very normal conversation. Their hygiene isn't kept up. It's really heartbreaking, it really is. And my time there, I had a lot of opportunities to talk to people, um, even though they were kind of unstable. We were encouraged to talk to the patients, that way we could observe their signs and symptoms of their mental illness so that we can learn. I definitely think that there is a connection between the two. It's kind of wild how the spiritual realm gets intermixed with the mental aspect. Um, in the Bible, it does talk about renewing our minds daily, and I don't think there is, it's a coincidence or it's an accident that that's what the Bible says, because the mind is very powerful. And when you allow certain things to go into your mind, it really does affect you, if that makes sense. Like what you watch really does affect you. What you have on Instagram really affects you. What you listen to really affects you. Whether you know it or not, subconsciously or consciously, like it actually does um, change the way your connections are happening in your brain. And I had so many good conversations with these patients and so many times they referred back to God. Even though they heard angels and demons, they always referred back to God. Okay, so I think this one, this video was a lot, but I'm just, I didn't have notes or anything. I just kind of wanted to share with you guys where I'm at in life. I think I'm gonna start doing more laid back videos, like more casual videos. I think I'll do more vlogs. I'll do more, just like what I'm going through. Like what I, I just documenting my spiritual journey because I know the spiritual journey of everybody looks different um, for me sometimes I'm like on a high 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 and like everything's for the Lord and sometimes I'm on a low and I'm not even touching my Bible I'm not even reading my Bible and I feel like that's where I'm at right now it's not butterflies and rainbows like I said but I just want to be real like this is the Christian walk this is the picking up your cross daily where it's not all Bible verses that make you feel good and um, pretty pictures on Instagram that say something about the Lord. Like, it's not always like that. Uh, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any video ideas. Don't forget to subscribe, comment down below any prayer requests, or DM me privately if you have any prayer requests. Um, I love you guys, and I pray for you all. Um, 26 views, because you should get 26 views, which is fine, because I am doing this for that one person that gets something out of it and gets closer to the feet of Jesus. That's what I'm doing it for. So I'm praying for you guys and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. Say bye, Molly. Say bye, babe. Bye. <laughs>